Hi, today I will show you what are the Yatri services and what is the end-to-end flow of the Yatri services. So Yatri services are having two different applications. One is Yatri and Yatri Partner. So let me show you how to download them. Basically, Yatri service is having the two different applications. One is Yatri and Yatri Partner. So let's go to Play Store. Search for Yatri app. And you can see that Yatri and Yatri Partner. So click on click on it and ins click on install so it will install yatri application so this is the application which is used by the users and book a cab to travel from one place to another place and another is yatri partner so click on install to install it and yatri partner is an application which is used by the transporters agency or drivers so here the events user books the ride here the driver gets a right request and they help the customers to reach the destination so both are installed and let's check whether they are present inside the app drawer or not yes both are present inside the app drawer let's go inside the application and check what are the settings we need to enable to use yatri and yatri partner application so click on yatri once you launch the application it will ask you to select a familiar language select either english or malayalam which is familiar to you and click on next and enter 10 digit mobile number which you want to register with the yatri and click on ok and once you click on ok it will ask you to provide a location services so click on got it and click on while using the app and once you click on while using the app it will enable the location services user is no need to enter the otp and it is auto readable so user directly navigate to home screen since we given the location services it will fetch the location of the user and it will show on the screen so these are the settings we need to enable as a user to use yatri application now we'll check for yatri partner application click on yatri partner yes here also it will ask you to select a familiar language either english or malayalam click on get started and here you need to enter the 10 digit registered mobile number which you have registered with your transporter and click on next enter the otp and click on register after you log into the application it will ask driver to enable several settings so let's check what are those so click on give permission once you click on give permission it will take you to display over other app screen so what is this display over other app means for example assume you are using youtube instead of yatri partner application and once user search for the right you should get a right request notification along with the pop-up if you disabled this setting you will not get a right request pop-up over the screen of youtube so enable this then only you will get a right request pop-up over the screen of youtube so this is what display over other app next go back and click on got it and click on while using the app so this enables the location services click on give permission it will take you to auto start settings auto start settings means user not using the application for a long time or if user using another application by clearing the yatri partner from the background at that time also if user wants to get a right requests then user should turn on the toggle button if user didn't turn on the toggle button once after you clear the application from the background or once you didn't use the application for a long time it will stop providing the right requests for you so please do enable the auto start permissions and go back now we will see all the settings are enabled or not so because for example if we forget or deny any services by mistake how we can enable so for that so go to settings 
go to apps click on manage apps search for yatri partner and we can see that auto start is enabled location service is enabled if it is enabled disabled like this you can enable it and go to other permissions you can see the display pop-up window so you can see that display pop-up window is enabled but that pop-up window is not shown in the lock screen because it is de in denied state and display pop-up window will running in the background also denied so that means if the application is running in the background or if you are not using the application you will not get a right request pop-up so you need to enable this as well so click on accept and click on show on lock screen click on accept so all the things are enabled so now whether you are using the app also whether you are not using the app also whether if your app is running the background also you will get a right request pop-up so these are the settings you need to enable now we will see how Yatri application will work means from the user perspective how the application will work at the user end so click on Yatri to open the application so once it launched land it to the home screen so first we need to enter the destination where we want to go so click on enter destination text field so enter the destination so I want to go to Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium so I clicked on it and clicked on search for a ride so once you clicked on the search for a ride it will show you the list of transportation agencies if more than one transportation agencies are available around you so for me I have only three taxis so clicked on and I am clicking on book a cab so there I am getting three different cab types sedan is even hatchback so i want to go in sedan so i'm clicking on sedan i'm clicking on book a ride along with that you can just observe that what is the approximate price is also it is showing okay so based on that also you can select the cab type as well so click on book a ride so once you click on book a ride the request will go to the nearby drivers once they accept the ride so you will get a driver name and the calling option to the driver and the OTP along with the vehicle number so once the OTP you have given to the driver they will enter that OTP in the OTP text field of the Yatri partner your ride will be started so you can track the ride in the home screen itself or else you can go to hamburger select my rights there you need to go for ongoing there you can see the right so if you click on track right there also you can track the right okay so this is how the app looks once after the right started Once we reach the destination, driver will end the ride. Once the driver ends the ride, user gets a ride ended screen. There we have an information like the fare, how much charged for the ride, and the kilometer, and the time and date, and the information about the driver and the taxis. And click on OK. Provide the ratings for the driver and his ride and click on submit so this is the user journey in the yatri application now we'll see how yatri partner will works means from the driver perspective okay so i'm using some other application see you can see that i am getting a right request pop-up you might not heard the right request notification sound because I'm using headphones okay yeah once driver accept the ride it will not take the drivers to the home screen 
okay remind it okay once you accept the right you have to go to the application uh, once you launch it in the home screen only it will show you the screen that you have accepted the right by telling upcoming right if you click on navigate it will take you to the google maps and it will show you the location of the user where he is so you can travel near to him to get an otp then you can start the ride so click on start you have arrived the driver has reached the user so he will you should the driver is getting an otp from the user now so the otp is 7243 then click on start ride, start trip so once he click on start trip the ride is get started so again if you want to see the route map so click on navigate google map will show you the route to reach the destination since you reach the destination click on end ride click on yes and click on collect payment so now you can collect the payment which is showing in the right summary screen and click on end right so this is the journey of the driver in the application if you want to see the upcoming rides or if you want to see the completed rides or if you want to see the ongoing rides or if you want to see the past rides completely so you have to go to rides and in upcoming tab you can see the upcoming rides means which are the rides you can you accept it those rides will be there which are the rides you have completed that will be present inside completed which are the rides which was cancelled by users or drivers that will be present under cancelled tab so this is how the yatri partner application is worked this is all about the video thank you